Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make some crane mats. I made one of these how-to videos a few years ago. It's been at least four or five years ago since I made it. When I made those, I made them the wrong way. They work, but they're not exactly like the real crane mats. But the things you will need to make these are obviously the wood strips. This is quarter inch by quarter inch basswood, I think so. I think that's what it is. They come in 36 inch uh, sticks. I got it from Lowe's. They're about 98 cents a piece. I got 20 of them. 20 sticks ended up making 25 or 26 mats. You'll need super glue, your wood stain. I chose dark walnut. I wanted a darker color. You'll need a paintbrush. This is just a one inch brush, a pencil, wire cutters. You can use a bandsaw or whatever, but I just use this 10 inch hacksaw. And you'll need 16th inch uh, metal rod. I've had these for a few years in a box. I think I got them from Hobby Lobby. I think there's six in a pack. But, and you'll need a ruler, obviously. You want to cut three uh, six inch sticks if you can see that three six inch sticks and then two five and three quarter inch sticks I already cut these out, so just to save a little time on the video. But here's what they will end up looking like before the, you stain them and put the rods through. I just finished gluing these up. But once you get them cut, I would try to find the side that has the most character to it or defects or whatever markings because you want to use that side because it looks a lot better more realistic and it shows wood grain more a lot of these pieces are pretty plain there's hardly anything wrong with it these are all pretty fine there's nothing wrong with them You want to take one of your short ones, just run a small bead, super glue, and then take one of your longer sticks and just keep it flush with one end. This stuff dries pretty quick. Just hold that for about 10 seconds. And on top of your short stick, add another bead of glue. And flush that up. They don't have to be exactly square or flush, but you want it pretty close. So 
So you want these three flush. And then you'll take your other short one and another bead of glue. Except this time you want to flush it up with the other end. So that way this short one is on that end and then the other short one will be on this end. Add a last piece of, or last bead of glue to that short piece. And you want to flush it up with that end. And there's what it should look like. Five pieces. Hold them together for a little a minute. Now you want to take your brass rod and line it up to the edge of one side. Not exactly flush with the outside because you don't want it sticking out but just enough cut that on these they're not real long I'm just going to put four rods in it You don't have to put four in it, but you will need to put one on each end. Another thing that you will need is a drill and a 1 16th bit. What you want to do is center it at the end. center it in the middle of the wood and then just drill it all the way through now you can just take the rod and slide it through it's a little tight which is good because it won't slide out You don't even have to glue it. But there's the rod. And that's what you use to lift it up. Hook some chains onto it. You can use a hammer on that, it doesn't really matter. Just as long as you get it knocked down. There's those. And on the other, the middle ones, I just try to space them out evenly. I don't measure it.
So yeah, I'm not perfect. Now what you want to do is lay out some paper towel. Shake up the can of stain. a lot darker than it really is but take your brush just brush it on there you don't have to put two coats on it or anything Let that soak in for a minute or two. And then what you want to do after a minute or two minutes is take a paper towel or cloth and then you just want to wipe it off in the direction that the grain is. For all those supplies, minus the the supplies that I got the other day were all the, the 20 sticks, the stain, and two bottles of super glue. It was only like 32 bucks, which isn't bad. It's almost how much the model retailers sell them for, and you only get like. 10 in a, in a pack, I think. But I think these brass rods are like 4 or $5 a pack. And you get 6 of them. Not very expen expensive project, but they really add a lot of detail and look realistic with a crane sitting on top. Now you just take your paper towel and wipe it off. And there you go. Let that dry. You can put a clear coat on it or top coat, whatever. Honestly, I'm not going to because I want it to look realistic. Uh, you won't see any crane mats that are shiny or look brand new. The other thing that I am going to do is paint the ends of these uh, orange or uh, green color, not sure yet. Not sure why they paint them, but it looks pretty cool. Once this dries, I'll flip it over and do the rest of it, do the sides. This stuff takes. Not sure how long to dry. Yeah, 
It says you can apply polyurethane in an hour. So, it takes a little time to dry. But it's not too bad. That's pretty much it how to make these cream mats. There's all kinds of color stains you can choose from. I went with a darker one because they look more realistic. But that's pretty much all there is to it. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching.